Here at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital Cochlear Implant Center, we actually work with a, uh, a multidisciplinary team of individuals who are, all, who are all specially trained to take care of children with hearing loss. Performing the cochlear implant itself, in many ways, is the easiest part. Um, it does require some technical expertise uh, from a cochlear implant surgeon such as myself, but I would not be successful and my children and my patients would not be successful in achieving their their ideal speech and language development and hearing capabilities if it weren't for an expert team of individuals who help care for these patients. So that involves a um, specially trained audiologist, a cochlear implant audiologist who understands this particular device and how it's programmed to a patient's hearing loss. And that uh, that audiologist works with the child over months and years to program that, that cochlear implant to the, the particular hearing loss to achieve the best sound access. So the cochlear implant audiologist is a key component of the team uh, that the parents get to know very well. And the other uh, very important member of the team is the uh, pediatric uh, auditory verbal therapist, which is a specially trained speech pathologist who teaches a child how to listen. So most children who receive cho uh, cochlear implants uh, at the youngest are one year of age, 12 months of age. And so they've lived at least 12 months without adequate hearing. And so once we quote unquote turn on their cochlear implant and turn on their hearing, we have to teach these children how to understand all the new sound that they're receiving. What's the difference between a car honking and a mother's voice? What's the difference between a car honking and the sound of uh, spoken language. And being able to understand the difference between that, those, those sounds is very important. And we have to teach children how to access that sound.